Next video, I'll show you how to um, use the polar form of f prime to find um, the derivative of complex functions, in particular, f of z equals z to the n uh, in polar coordinates. But here, we're going to do another example uh, using rectangular coordinates where we write z as x plus i y. Yeah? Okay, cool. So um, let's get started. Well, actually, before we start, um, notice first that we're doing this for log z in this video. Um, and there's something to say about log z, which is that it's a multi-valued function. Um, so here, arg z um, stands for theta p, uh, the principal value of theta, where we assume theta p lies between 0 and 2 pi. Yeah? OK, cool. Uh, but for a more complete definition of log z, we actually need to write, in addition to i arg z, we need to write plus i times 2n pi, where n is an integer. Yeah? Cool. All right. Um, that side note aside, and you could uh, learn more about that on your own, um, let's get started with finding the derivative. All right. Um, now, to use this formula here, notice that we need to write log z as um, u of xy um, plus i times v of xy. That's not very hard to do since we have that z is x plus iy. Uh, we figure that uh, the norm of z there means um, the norm of z is square root of, ah, too much, sorry, square root of um, x squared plus y squared. And then by arg z, given that arg z is theta p between 0 and 2 pi, we mean that arg z is, um, we mean that arg z is tan inverse of y over x. Okay, cool. So then, um, with this handy, uh, we're ready to find the derivative of log z. So first, let's rewrite log z with what we've just found, which is that it's the same as um, log or ln, if you want, doesn't matter, but it's the same as log, and I'll actually use ln. It's the same as ln, I love ln, of root, um, and it's going to be um, x squared plus y squared, and then plus, and then it's i times um, tan inverse of um, y over x. Cool. And again, recall that z is equal to x plus i y to start. Probably the easiest thing for you to gather. All right. Um, so let's take care of that. Move this definition up and um, identify our u and v. And then we could start. Um, so notice that this here is u of x y. And then we have plus i times this here is v of x y. Right? Okay, cool. So then we have that um, ux, right, which is that guy, is the partial derivative of this with respect to x. Well, that is going to equal, um, first, because of the log, we'll have to write 1 divided by, uh, and it's going to be root, ooh, poor writing, sorry, y'all, uh, 1 divided by root x squared plus y squared. Uh, but then chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of root x squared plus y squared, which is times 1 divided by, um, um, and then it's um, 2 times root x squared, pff, root x squared plus y squared. And then chain rule again says we have to multiply by 2x times 2x. Got it. Okay. That's ux. And then um, vx, uh, the partial with respect to x of this, is going to be um, 1 divided by 1 plus, um, and then it's y over x all squared, um, which is y squared x over x squared. So let me write that instead, y squared over x squared. But then by chain rule, we also have to multiply, we also have to multiply by the derivative of this, sorry, I can't speak, um, which is um, negative y divided by x squared, right? Okay, cool. 
Um, now we can do a little bit of cleanup work, um, which is to start, we could write that one is x squared over x squared, so as to get a common denominator, x squared over x squared. Um, and then we could say that first ux is equal to, more succinctly, we see that this two and this two take care of each other. And so we have an x upstairs. Um, and then uh, the uh, denominator is going to be the product of these two, which luckily cleans up. Uh, and that's just um, x squared plus y squared. Nice. And then vx also uh, cleans up very nicely. And that is, uh, notice that next, since I have a common denominator here, I could just do that, get rid of this. Uh, but then I have that, which is the same as x squared over um, um, x squared plus y squared, right? This is the same as that, right? And then we're multiplying it by um, negative y over x squared. And I could do this now. And so it's just negative y over x squared plus y squared. So we've got negative y over um, x squared plus y squared. Beautiful. So then I could do this now. OK, cool. And next, I could say that f prime of z is equal to ux, which we have handy right here. And that's x divided by um, x squared plus y squared, and then plus i times, um, and then it's vx. Well, since that's a negative, we could just say minus, and then it's um, y times i, right? Well, I'll just write iy, uh, and then divided by x squared plus y squared. Well, how nice is it that we already have common denominators? So we could write x minus iy divided by um, x squared plus y squared. But that's going to say x minus iy divided by um, x plus iy times x minus iy. And then we could do this. Boom, boom. And then we're going to have 1 divided by x plus iy. Well, remember, I said x plus iy is z, the easiest thing for you to remember. So 1 over z, yeah? Cool. So that's the derivative of log z, is 1 over z. Keep watching. Take care.